Welcome back, everybody, to For Goodness Take. Today, we have UNI quarterback Will McElvain. Will, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. So today, we're going to talk some football and all that good stuff. To kick it off, what was the first touchdown pass you've ever thrown? Uh, in my life or in college? Uh, in your life. Uh, I was just thinking, like, tackle football. My first year being a quarterback, it was, like, third grade. Uh, I think I just scrambled to the right and just kind of threw it to the corner for a touchdown. I don't think it was a real long one. But that was my okay. first one I remember, right? What was your reaction? Uh, I can't even remember. I was probably probably pretty excited, you know, because I always wanted to be a quarterback. So, I can't remember a long time ago. Probably, like, nine years old. But I think I still got the ball, though. I might have it with me, but. I think I still got the ball. That was like a, like a sign that for what was to come in the future. A lot of touchdowns. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You were the quarterback for one of the best offenses in Iowa in high school, if not the best, right? Right. Yeah, I think we led the state in total offense my senior year. Yeah. When you're in the pocket, you have like these cat-like reflexes, which is crazy. Like, who taught you to do all those kind of things? Uh, I think it's just instinctive, you know. Um. Growing up, I never really had a great offensive line. Uh, in college, I do now. But when I played uh, in high school, my earlier years, when I played varsity and, you know, when I was younger playing peewee out, that's just kind of how I had to play, being smaller and, you know, uh, not having the greatest offensive line. I kind of just had to make things happen. So I think, you know, it was, uh, really just a blessing in disguise and uh, made me the player that I am. How good are your reflexes, would you say? Uh, I think, I think they've, they've become pretty good. Uh, over the years, you know, to a lot of a lot of different reps and seen a lot of different things. So, you know, it's definitely a – I think it's definitely my gift on the field if I have one, is just being instinctive and being able to make plays. So if I stood behind you and started throwing a bunch of balls at you, do you think you could evade most of them? Like if I threw 50 at you, how many could you could you avoid? Uh, yeah, I might be able to avoid 35 of them. Depends how Why far. 35? Yeah, good percentage <laughs> of them, hopefully. I'm three yards behind you, all from different angles. Like, I'm a defensive end who just beat your, your tackle. Okay. Three yards behind me? How hard are you throwing them? Like this, kind of like flicking them. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I might be able to get out of the way of most of those. Probably like 35, 40 of them. So do you glance behind you, or is it kind of a gut feeling that you have? I think I just kind of feel it. You know, I don't think I, you can really glance behind you, especially at this level. You know, you got to keep your eyes down field and just try to feel it, so. I think I've just kind of grown a feeling for it, playing the position for so many years. Kind of like Super Saiyan mode if you watch Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so you originally committed to Iowa State. What made you decide to leave and go to UNI? Uh, so I was committed as a walk-on. I walked on to Iowa State and UNI. I was going to walk on either way I went. So uh, really just kind of where I thought I'd have the best chance to play. And uh, Iowa State already had a couple quarterback commits. Uh, you know, before I committed, and I think they got one more after I, after I committed, which is kind of what made me uh, flip, you know, because they were kind of even telling me that they didn't know if I was even going to be able to play there, have an opportunity. So uh just kind of had to do what I had to do in that situation. You know, it was humbling, and uh I think that, you know, you and I was going to give me a better chance to, to play. So uh, that's what I decided to do. I think all of you and I is really thankful to have you as quarterback. You're making some huge plays. Yeah, you know, it was a definitely a, a good experience my freshman year. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I have coaches that believe in me and, you know, to be surrounded by the players that I'm surrounded by. And they put me in the, you know, best position I can be to be successful. So try to build off it and uh, be even better next year. I think you'll be a lot better next year because this year was like your first year learning a lot about the, the ropes and all that. And right. now you have a year under your belt and you're ready to dominate, I think. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, obviously, as a quarterback, you love football. What's your favorite team? Uh, in the NFL, I, I like the Texans. I like the Sean Watson. So uh, that's my favorite team in the league. Getting rid of D Hop kind of hurt me this off season, but yeah, that was painful. Painful. Yeah. But we got we got you and I got in, in the trade though, so I'm not I'm not too mad at it. David Johnson. Yep. Oh wow! Look at that. So that yeah. must be good. Got another Panther in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You move a lot like Deshaun Watson, the way that you evade all those tackles, scramble, 
extend plays. Have you ever tried to reach out to him? Uh, no, I've never tried to reach out to John Watson. He probably wouldn't reply to me, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I do though. You know, I take a little bit some pieces of guys' games and kind of just play the way I play, and I think that's probably part of the reason why I do like him is you know the, the similarities in the way that we play. Who who do you model your game most of? Uh, I probably like Johnny Manziel when I when I first started playing quarterback. You know, it was around that time when he was playing really well in college and, you know, he was kind of just the person to be. And I think I was already kind of playing like that, but then actually seeing somebody really do it. That's for I know people have, like, been scrambling and doing that type of stuff, but that was the first person that I would be saw do it and, you know, be super successful. So I think that's probably the first person that, uh, you know, I really modeled myself after. Your tapes are really similar. Like, he runs along the, outside the pocket to avoid tackles. You do that. You launch down the field to get a nice touchdown. So – uh, yeah. I think all the tape you watch for sure has helped. Yeah, definitely. What's been the main takeaway from Johnny watching Johnny Manziel's tape? Um, just I guess just never giving up on plays. You know, he just made a lot of things happen, and uh, he had a lot of success with it. You know, in critical moments, he never gave up on plays, and you know, kept his team in you know positions no matter how much they were down or who they were playing or the down in the distance. He was able was able to you know kind of come up with something to make something happen. So. I think that's kind of the main thing that I got from him. Okay, nice. I sent you uh, a thing of a list of players over mm -hmm. Instagram. So what it is basically is you have $15 to construct your offense. One running back, three wide receivers, one tight end. For those at home, I'm going to read all those names really quickly. So for running backs, we have Barry Sanders for $6, Walter Payton for $5, Marshall Falk for $5, AP for $5, Emmett Smith, $3. LaDainian Tomlinson, $3. Marshawn Lynch, $2. Reggie Bush, $1. So, which running back are you going to take out of that group? Uh, $15. And you're the quarterback. So, okay, model I'm it. the quarterback. So, I got I to model it to what I want with me. Uh, yeah. How many receivers so do I get? Run. You get three receivers, which are Jerry Rice, $6. Calvin Johnson, 6 Randy Moss, 4 Fitzy, 4 Michael Irvin, 3 T.O., 3 And Amani Toomer, 1 Okay. Um... I'm starting my running back. I'm going to get a cheap running back because I feel like three receivers. I'm going to get Emmitt Smith. No, I'm going to get LaDainian Thomason. Okay. Ooh, yeah, LaDainian Thomason for sure for $3. I think that's a good price. I wanted Barry Sanders, but six is already about a third of my money. Uh, <laughs> I got $12 to work with. I need Randy Moss, so I got $8. Uh, it's tough. I got $8. I need Randy Moss, though. So I got two more receivers in Italian for $8. Yeah. Um, T.O. for three. Okay, five. Five dollars. Uh, shoot. Let me get Jeremy Shockey for a dollar, and I'll get – so I got, what, two dollars left? You got two dollars left. Mm, I'm going to get, I'm gonna have to get uh, a money tumor. I honestly don't know what that is. But Play for I the I Giants, I believe. Okay, I'm going to take him. I think I got a good roster, though. So you got, you got LT, you got Randy mm -hmm. Moss, you got T.O., Amani Toomer, and Jeremy Shockey. Yeah, I think I got a nice roster. I think that's a Super Bowl roster. Okay. So for me, let me look at it. I'm going Marshawn Lynch so I can hand him off at the goal line because on Madden I throw a ton of picks at the two-yard line, so I don't trust myself that close to the goal line for whatever reason. <laughs> so I got 13 left. I'm going Calvin Johnson, so I can just throw it up and I'll catch it every time. Seven. I'm going to go Fitzy for $4. Uh -huh. So that way he's really reliable. So I'm at three left. I'll do Amani Tumor for one and then John Mackey for two. So I think my team might be able to take down yours. Yeah, I should. I think I should have went. Uh, maybe. Marshawn Lynch is good. I could have went a dollar cheaper on the running back. Randy Moss, though, I don't know. Randy Moss is the GOAT to me, so I, just, I had to go with Randy Moss. He is a stud. I just can't throw it too far, so I don't know if his routes can develop <laughs> enough for me. Like yeah. I'm a, I'm a pick-up-at-the-park quarterback legend, but I don't think I'm a D D1 quarterback level quarterback yet. <laughs> so let's switch gears here. I have a speed round. So I'm going to say a name – or phrase or whatever, and you're going to say a word, phrase, memory, any of that that comes to your mind first. Okay. Ready? Yep. 
best quarterback in the FCS? Trey Lance got to give it to him. Do you think you're going to surpass him this season? Yeah, that's the goal, man. Uh, I'm working hard, but, you know, he definitely earned it for that first year. So, I'm going to give it to him for now. We're going to come for that spot next year, but he, he definitely got it right now. Yeah, Trey Lance, <laughs> that guy is incredible. Okay, next, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, uh, I've talked to him a couple of times. Uh, he's a great player, I'm going to say. Phenomenal. Changed the Iowa State program, so a lot of credit to him, too. Purple and gold. You and I. You and I go Panthers. I'm mm -hmm. going to switch it, the gears with you one more time, okay? This okay. is called Recruit Me. I'm a five-star wide receiver from Los Angeles. My final four schools are Iowa State, Clemson, LSU, and you and I. How are you going to get me to commit to you and I so we can team up? Um... Let's see, you got Iowa State, Clemson, right? Yep. LSU, and you and I. Uh, well, to get you to go, I, I don't know. I feel like you and I might have more players in the league than Iowa State. And we just had a receiver drafted a couple years ago. So I, I think I can get him maybe over Iowa State. Clemson, LSU is tough. They got a lot of receivers in the league. <laughs> 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 uh, I might tell him that, you know, Trevor Lawrence is going to graduate. I don't know who LSU's quarterback is next year. He probably might have like one more year. He might come come to you and I. He can play with the same quarterback for the next three years. I think okay. that it might be the best shot that I have. I mean, they got some they got some good guys at those schools. A lot, of, a lot of people that they can vouch for to go to them schools. Do you think if I went to the U and I program, dominated as a wide receiver, I could cut, maybe change the program around for wide receivers across the nation? I think so. I think the Eastern Washington. I know some people out there and. So they got a lot of receivers in the league. They got Kendrick Bourne. They got uh, Cooper Cup. I think there's a couple others too. So I think if you're a receiver in the SCS, I think that's kind of the place where a lot of them want to go. So uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely think so. You know, if they're just a some, and I think we got some guys right now. I think Isaiah Weston, you know, and Deion Shane. We got a lot of guys right now that probably do the same thing. So shoot, I don't know. Probably. Um. What's your what's your connection with your receivers like? Maybe if you can get to me through that level, I can commit there. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm good friends with all the guys. When we get done with this, I'm, I'm gonna go throw. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm I think I'm a little different than a lot of the quarterbacks. You know, I'm not really gonna. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm just kind of one of the guys. You know, I'm a leader. I'm gonna say stuff that needs to be said, but at the same time, you know, I'm gonna stand with my guys, and you know, we just all friends, and I don't place myself above anybody. You know, we just kind of. Just grind together, and, you know, that's it. How are the fans? The fans, it's definitely cool. You know, uh, it's a college experience. You know, they get pretty loud. I think the Dome helps get teams to get pretty loud. So, we got a lot of excited teams coming to the Dome this year. So, I think it'll definitely be an exciting season with, you know, all the anticipation of us being, you know, preseason highly ranked and uh, some of the teams that are coming into play. So, should be an exciting year. I think I may have my mind of where I'm gonna commit. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. take this let I'm gonna take this letter right here. If I, you can see it. This mm -hmm. one right here. Throw it away. Grab my jersey yeah. right here. Nice. <laughs> twenty three. I don't know if we got a twenty three, so you might be able to wear that. So I'm committed to you and I. Let's dominate the FCS, destroy North North Dakota State, take home the ship. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Sure, that's, that's the goal. That's what we're trying to do. We got North Dakota State early this year, so, you know, we're trying to get ready for that. You against Trey Lance, outperforming for me. Yeah, don't, don't have to. <laughs> so that concludes this episode of For Goodness Take. Will, thank you so much for being on it. Any final comments? Uh, no, thank you for having me on. Of course. Good luck to you and your team this year. and Stay safe. Uh -huh.